Hello and Good Day, presenting Motivational and Inspirational Quotes by my favorite pastor in the world, Joel Osteen. Quotes 31-40.31 Keep in mind, just because you don't know the answer doesn't mean that one does not exist. You simply haven't discovered it yet. 32. After listening to people gripe and complain just smile and remember, crows can hang with eagles. 33. You may live or work around a bunch of weeds, but don't let that stop you from blooming. Realize that your environment does not prevent you from being happy. Some people spend all their time trying to pull up all the weeds. Meanwhile, they miss much of their lives. Don't worry about things you can't change. You can't change the traffic in the morning. You can't fix everybody at work. You can't make all your family members serve God. But you shouldn't let that keep you from being happy. Bloom anyway and focus on the things that you can change. You can change your own attitude. You can choose to be happy right where you are. 34. Maybe you've invested a lot of time, effort, money, emotion, and energy in a relationship. You did your best to make it work out. But for some reason, things got off course. And now you feel as though you have been robbed. When we focus on our disappointments, we stop God from bringing fresh new blessing into our lives. 35. You cannot expect to live a positive life if you hang with negative people. 36. When you go through difficult times, make sure you pass the test. Don't be stubborn and hard-headed. Recognize that God is refining you, knocking off some of your rough edges. Stand strong and fight the good fight of faith. God has called each of us to be champions. You are destined to win. If you will work with God and keep a good attitude, then no matter what comes against you, the Bible says that all things not just the good things in life, but all things work together for your good. 37. Love overlooks a person's faults. That's not always easy, but love believes the best in every person. Anybody can return evil for evil, but God wants his people to help heal wounded hearts. 38. People of excellence go the extra mile to do what's right. 39. You may be at a crossroads in your life. You may have issues to deal with, people you need to forgive. You can go one of the two ways. You can ignore what you now know to be true and keep burying that bitterness in your life, pushing it deeper and allowing it to poison and contaminate you and those around you. Or you can make a much better choice by getting it out in the open and asking God to help you to totally forgive and let it all go. 40. If you know you have to wait anyway, why not make a decision to enjoy your life while you're waiting? Why not be happy while God is in the process of changing things? After all, there's nothing we can really do to make it happen any faster. We might as well relax and enjoy our lives, knowing that at the appointed time God is going to bring his plan to pass.